This was the day that I learned the truth about chefs. But let's rewind to where the story truly begins. It was a quiet Sunday morning when I decided to take a stroll. Being a severely introverted pessimist, it's unusual for me to ever leave the house, but today I just so happened to be heading out. To my misfortune, I also happened to come across a lost item that would end up ruining my day. That item was a spatula. Before the story unwinds, it's also probably worth noting that I know a certain chef and a certain conspiracy theorist. However, neither of them are connected to this specific spatula just yet. Anyhow, shortly after that, my life was about to be changed for good. Oi! What? Oh, you know damn well what. I can see from that spatula you're carrying. You're one of them goons, ain't you? Oh, brilliant. I leave the house once and I'm already being accused of something. Don't avoid the question. You're a chef, aren't you, you scumbag? What's your problem with chefs? I'm only carrying a spatula. Calm down. What's my problem with chefs? They're the scum of the world. You not heard what they're doing? What? No, I haven't actually, but go ahead, enlighten me. Seriously? You haven't heard of the edgy chefs? Well, prepare to learn the truth. The edgy chefs were a gang of three, well, chefs. But they do more than prepare spicy dishes for restaurants. There is only one way to describe them. They're terrorists. <laughs> Their only purpose in life is to enhance their culinary skills and to deliver pain and misery to every non-chef they come across while they're at it. Alright, where's the lamb sauce? Careful! You spilled a meal, you twat! The fuck is this shit? Jesus! Jesus, man! What are you... Bullshit! What are you... Do? It looks like we've got another customer, boys. How good of a cook do you reckon he is? Not a very good one. Is that scarce? <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy that consumes more food than he makes, boys. Am I right? Shall we give him the old ultraviolence? Excuse me? You're blocking the path. I'm sorry, sir. Are we in your way? We'd just like to have your opinion on last night's episode of Hell's Kitchen. I don't even watch that show. We see. Sorry to bother you, sir. <laughs> so far, they've murdered six people over the course of two months. I will never forgive them for their crimes. Wait, so that's it? What? There's only three of them? Yeah, there's only three. So what? So you despise all chefs just because three out of the millions that exist are psychopaths? <laughs> what brain dead? Don't you know this is what chefs are really like? I mean, these three are just proving their intentions. Oh, so I'm the brain dead one, eh? Give me one example of this happening outside of the edgy chefs. Have you not seen Godfather? The chefs in that run the bloody mafia. Gordon Ramsay, the world's worst chef, screams and emotionally abuses everyone he comes into contact with. Fuck off you, you fat useless sack of fucking Yankee danky doodle shite. Fuck off will you please. He doesn't give a fuck. He's dreaming. He's standing there pissed his pants looking for his tartar caviar white chocolate crap. And he's just running around like a toilet brush. Worst part is that everyone just, just finds this acceptable. They say, oh, it's a stressful job. Oh, it's okay. It's, 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 it's just his job. Fuck off! How can you still sit there, lying in dirt and defending chefs? Have the edgy chefs even affected you personally in any way yet? Like, have they killed or injured any of your friends or family members? Alright, since I can't convince you how chefs are evil with words, I can use science, maths and, right now, necessarily, my fists. <laughs> Oh, 
Shortly after the beating, after I'd gotten home, I was struck with the sudden realisation that there was something seriously wrong with me. These chefs that I was told about had murdered innocent people, and my apologist mindset was more concerned about who was not to blame than who actually was. Anyway, you can never be too safe, so before I headed out again, I made sure to secure my home. Chef, you're fired. Get out of my house. Alright mate, bad day eh? Well, let me reassure you of something. You've got no idea who I am, haven't you? Well, if you can't tell already, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Don't worry, I know what life's like for you chefs out there. I'm a minority, just like you lot. If only more people could understand that not all of you are just like the edgy chefs. Some of you are normal people. I'm afraid that's what people do. They overgeneralize. Brainwashed sheep. So remember, hang in there, mate. I'm gonna be off now. I've got a theory to work on. Alright guys, just returned from another suicide bombing. Very nice. What? Oh, gaze up here, comrades. It's Chef. Looks could kill you would be in it. Chef? He's come back. Long time no see, old friend. Where have you been for years? No way. What did he say? Chef's encountered a loony on the path, boys. Poor sod chef sympathizer. Foolish specimen. I say we get him, boys. Yeah, I'm in. But allies, we can't leave the shelter idle. What if someone finds it? I say you stay put and guard our belongings. Come on now, boys, or the tinfoil hatter will get away. I wish you well, brothers, but I will stay here in case we get a customer. Break a leg, fellas. Easy there, Wanderer. Where might you be heading? Back off. Cunt. Oh, a feisty catch. May I ask your knowledge on the kitchen and whatnot? What a coincidence. This is the second time today I've been asked this question. You're with the edge of chefs, aren't you? Naughty, naughty, naughty. You filthy old Zunker. Where are the other two? I thought there was more of you. Oh, the boys are out shopping. But I think I can take a civilian like you by myself.
that was the day when I finally learned the truth. I learned who the real enemy was. I learned who the real threat to society was. It wasn't a political party, it wasn't a race, and it wasn't a religion. It was chefs. I was woke, alright.